Hello everybody, Christine Marie here, and I've got a surprise for you. Today, we are going to explore what this stress fracture injury has to do with this. Stay tuned, but before we begin, please like and subscribe. It helps other people hear this message. What message? That we are not meant to suffer and People who are born with a uterus, most of them, 84.1% of them to be exact, deal with and tolerate menstrual pain. Period problems like PMS, like cramps, menstrual migraines, diagnoses like endometriosis, PCOS, PMDD, fibroids. And my work has shown that we can absolutely reverse the symptoms of those problems, not by treating the symptoms, but by treating the cause. So if you think that more people need to know about this, and if you'd like to know more about this, then click subscribe and click the bell so that you can find out when I release more videos like this. They typically come out every Thursday, but sometimes there will be a bonus and subscribers do get access to my face specific yoga series, which I know there's a lot of yoga out there, but if you are looking for yoga to do in your given phase, in your given menstrual phase at a given time, and you are dedicated to proper alignment because I am obsessed with alignment, then my yoga may be a good move. Now let's get into it. What does a stress fracture have to do with the womb? Well, uh, first let's talk about how it happened. I live by the menstrual phases. I practice radical cycle syncing. I, I connect everything through. I filter everything through the fierce gentleness framework. Fierce gentleness is always how can I be even more gentle with myself and in so doing be even more gentle with others, allowing myself to show up in my unapologetic wholeness. Well, I can live according to the menstrual phases so that I am encouraging the innate strengths that each phase shows up with when each phase shows up. If all of that sounds like gibberish, that's fair. There are other videos that go into what the menstrual phases are and best practices for the menstrual phases, for how to uh, use them and leverage the power from them. Of course, you're going to get the most out of giving yourself this information on a regular basis. And that is why we have specific programs in the collective for that. But today we're going to talk about one of the benefits of being in balance with our menstrual cycle. And that is that we are more sensitized to other alarm bells that might be going off as a result of no longer having to constantly tend to an imbalance in our womb. So I'm Christine Marie. I am the period empress. And the reason I use that lofty title is because I am inviting people to an entirely new solution when it comes to menstrual suffering, when it comes to solving period problems. My work shows that when we treat the causes of our, of the stimuli that then stimulate pain in our body, when we treat those causes first, then the pain no longer manifests because what we nurture is what grows. For many of us, myself included, I experienced decades of pain, of period pain, of cramps, of highly volatile PMS, losing an ovary, endometriosis diagnosis, um, just, a just too much pain. And do not get me started on the videos where people are like, oh, now I understand period pain. It wasn't enough that 84.1% of women who are, are suffering with menstrual pain, it wasn't enough that they were suffering. Now we believe that it's happening because men are using that machine that simulates period pain. And they're saying, yeah, it really hurts. Yeah, it really hurts. And on top of that, what also hurts is that the messaging we've been receiving has been, in the industry, has been, there's nothing that you can do about it. Some of us just have bad period problems. And my work said, absolutely not. We don't need to have a special diet. We don't need to do special exercises. We don't need to take special supplements. We don't need to do special therapies like hormone or gut therapy. We don't need to suffer to heal. What we do need to do is listen to our body. So I listened to my body and there are other videos about that. We won't get into that now. but. 
I listen to my body. I maintain menstrual balance. I have nurtured my body to menstrual order. And so when I feel the slightest twinge of pain, I listen and I make adjustments dynamically. In this case, I have a stress fracture. And a stress fracture is caused because we do an unusual amount of, of an exercise. My dog and I hike one to two hours every day. We have mountains, we go uphill, we take city walks. We do pretty much everything every day, one to two times a day. He goes for a walk twice a day, but we might like really go all out. We've done four hour walks, five hour walks. Well, we did a hike and we maybe climbed more than we usually do. We did something that was unusual. And as a result of it, I have a stress fracture. Now, because it didn't happen here, I knew it wasn't something that was challenging my way of life, that was challenging my alignment with my holistic being. What is a holistic being? What am I talking about? There are other videos for that. Check out the channel and find out. But I'll tell you very, very quickly that the holistic being is made up of four parts. The intuitive body, the physical body, the emotional body coming from the left, the mental body coming from the right. All of those together make the holistic being. Our body is a 3D printer for what's going on up here what's going on in these other three bodies. And if you wanna know the science behind that, we have a really fun, it's very fun, we have a very fun um, presentation of the white paper that I did. We did a shortened version that's fun and has pretty colors, not just black and white text, and the link to that is in the description. Definitely check it out. But what happens is that this is in balance. There are no problems happening. The eight facets of my wheel of life are not threatened. They're in balance. And I call it the wheel of life because if one spoke of the wheel of life is bent or screwy in some way, the wheel can no longer turn. And when we get to the other side of period problems, our threshold for imbalance is very, very low. We just won't tolerate it because we know that if we tolerate imbalance, the problem is going to exacerbate. The problem is just going to get bigger and may eventually result in a regression back to pain, which we don't want. And so this is imbalance, and I'm very aware because I know that my body's resting pose is actually in pain-free all things. Not just, oh, well, I fixed this, but now I have to fix this. No, when you're in balance with yourself, you still will have problems, but you'll know how to overcome them. Or if you don't know how to overcome them, you'll know what steps to take in your journey to the overcoming of them. Life is ever a journey, right? And so, we have this stress fracture that I'm dealing with. It came from hiking. We maybe hiked or climbed too far. And when we look at what a stress fracture is under a, like on the, on the websites that show the diagrams of it, it's a small crack in the bones. If we let that crack, if we don't support our foot, like I'm doing now, and this is not really like an excellent brace. There's not really a brace for a, for a stress fracture. There is just not putting weight on it. This brace just reminds me to be gentle with my foot. I don't want to forget. I don't want to become unconscious to the pain. I don't want to numb out and not even realize that the pain is working on me. That's what I did for two decades with my period stuff and I'm not going back there. And so with my expectation that I am meant to be in health, I, I felt this pain. It was a low amount, just a nudge of a problem. And I immediately went into action. When I thought about it, Anything below my crotch has to do with the root chakra. The root chakra is family and it's security and it's community. Its colors are red and burgundy. I looked in there and I thought about the foot. The foot is how I make contact with the world. It is how I can stand and it is cracking, which means that I'm not solidly here. What am I running from? What am I hiding from? Root chakra, community, security, family, asking the questions. Okay, am I, do I feel centered and rooted in my community? 50-50. Do I feel centered and rooted in my family? 100%. Do I feel safe? 50-50. So there's work to be done. And with this injury, it tells me that the work comes not from hustling and the grind. That's an old myth. And that is something that has to do, that works for people who do not have a uterus. They actually power up from doing, and we power up from being. If you want more information on this, it's in that white paper. Mwah. You're welcome. And so I slow down so that in the slow down intentional actions that I take, 
I might hear the solutions that I'm running from. And so that is the connection. I'm going to respect this injury. I'm going to be gentle and precious with it because it's happening in perfect timing and under grace in perfect ways. It's doing something for me that may be holding me back from a bigger problem that could have occurred if I did not heed this warning. And so my invitation is now to you. What is happening in your life that is a physical problem that actually might have a connection with something deeper? If you can believe that life is holistic and that the problems that our body as a 3D printer is printing for us, the problems that the body is printing for us are problems that can be solved through how we think, how we live, how we be. The physical interactions that we offer our body, albeit for the best of reasons, can't matter unless we empower it to matter. So this gentle and precious time that I'm taking matters because time is a non-renewable resource. And the choice to honor and listen to my body is easy to make now after decades of not doing that. I hope that you catch up to what your body wants you to know sooner than I did. It took me way too long and I can't get that time back. But I hope that you get your time back. I hope that you keep the time that you have and make great use of it. One thing, and I'm going to stop soon, that we forget and that we are guilted with is that time is a non-renewable resource. And so we are, people will often use that information to get us to do something that we don't want to do because they say you may never get this chance again. Well, you will get more out of your time when you pause and stop and find the grace, find yourself in alignment, find yourself in love with the action that you're taking. And if you can't, don't take the action because that is a greater waste than pretending that you're okay. It was pretending that I was okay that got me to two decades of period problems. I hope that I can be enough of a lesson so that you might go right to thriving and get to skip all of the steps that I had to take, like losing an ovary, like compromising my fertility health. It's not compromised anymore because my period is now in balance. Wishing you joy, ease, space, and grace.